waiting in my basement. Hairy jeans handed down from dad to son. He's the one to deliver his people out of bondage to the Wolverines, Wolverines. Wolverines taking shop class in my high school. Wolverines in the yearbook on the bus. That was us. They will chew you if you say a word against them. Those Wolverines, Wolverines. Wolverine and Godzilla Feet were written about 20 years apart. And they're just part of a larger theme for me. When people talk about roots music usually they talk about the sadness the thing I always liked about the early music I listened to wasn't just the fact that it was deep and sad but it was also really wacky and surreal and it didn't always make sense it, there was a kind of high spirits to it that uh, if it told a story at all, it was indirect. So I never thought of Wolverine and Godzilla Feet as being especially re related, um, except that both of them have this kind of surface strangeness to them that is, uh, I hope, funny. Um, and that it also talks indirectly about more down-to-earth issues. She must have a boyfriend, those girls always do. She's too busy being happy to waste much time with you. Even if I got her to say she thought I was sweet She'd split the first time she saw my big Godzilla feet Godzilla feet Cut them toenails, boy They're my pride and joy My big Godzilla feet in the shower if it got that far I would leave my shoes on because that's the way things are she might tell herself that I was someone she should meet if she did not get to see my big Godzilla feet Godzilla feet Hold the hot coals, mister, they tend to blister my big Godzilla feet. Walk on. Sorry, baby, that I spoke your name. Your pretty clothes, your tiny toes, they fill my heart with shame. She will smile politely when she sees me on the street. Busting up the sidewalks with my big Godzilla feet, Godzilla feet. 
poetic podiatry Longfellow's in society My big Godzilla feet My big Godzilla feet My big Godzilla feet